Come back, I got some ideas I want to show you that I'm going to be doing in my videos in the future and I'm going to show you what I'm doing with them. Well, it's going on, everybody. How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope this video finds you well. <clears throat> now, I've been seeing a couple of people out there. I watch a lot of different videos from time to time. And I'm seeing some really cool stuff come out. And it's, I want to try some of it in my videos. Um, one of the neat things I've seen is where people are taking old um, video that are not even 1080p, not even 720, even older stuff, and making shots and putting in within their videos so for instance right now we're shooting on my sl3 which is shooting in 1080p now i could jump it up to 4k but i choose to shoot in 1080 and um, that's just the way i shoot but what i've been what i found and i thought i want to mess with this was i found this old nikon um I think it, the way it's stated on here, it records in 640, TV 640. So this will be Nikon. Um, you can see the setting on the back, that's the highest setting it's got. Or you can go down to 320. So what I want to do real quick, show you um, what I've done, is I shot a video earlier today in the vehicle wife was driving so i was able to shoot video but the first part of the scene you will see has been shot with the canon sl3 then it's going to go to another scene and it's shot with this and then back to the sl3 and i'll discuss a little more what i did while i was shooting that Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack Okay, so I hope you saw what it did As far as an effect on the video itself um, You can really tell the difference In the way this thing shoots uh, It's a little jumpier uh, footage wise the SL3 is much clearer cleaner um, but this gives it that dirty old film look which I kind of like a little bit now I'm gonna roll in another scene real quick with this same camera it's one of the same scenes I used in the first part of the video but now what I've done is put a filter on that footage that makes it look even older and sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic So anyways guys What I was just trying to do is bring you something That you could throw in your toolbox when filming To um you know just add a little more depth to the storytelling um i think it's kind of cool how this turned out with the old footage or with the grainy looking film footage that i put with this i think it really gave it a different depth or a different different uh dimension to the video itself i look forward to doing that um a little bit more and you'll you'll notice it maybe i'll hint it somewhere in there that i'm using multiple cameras and styles of cameras but um anyway it's just something kind of cool i want to try and i revived an old camera so you know it is what it is i've actually ordered uh, new batteries for this thing because the charger doesn't work right anymore um i will show you another camera i was gonna mess with a little bit 
but I will have to order a charger or find the original charger for it. And that's this little sharp, no, Casio camera. I think um, I may still try to figure out a way to make it work. And who knows? Like I said, even in this thing, I even put a better SD card in it so it would read faster. Um, be a much clearer read on the you know video itself. But you can see how much more jumpier it was. It It's kind of cool. Just something neat I'm trying. Um, I'm going to be trying a lot of that stuff this year. Throwing it in my videos and places. And you just want to expect it. So anyways guys that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy it. Go out and try something different. You know we like the clean you know aspect of the storytelling of the videos. But I thought let's throw something else in it. Um, of course, that's just one more camera to charge and to take with me. But think about that. I mean, just, you know, something else cool um, in an age where everybody's trying to get the newest, latest, greatest thing. I'm digging up these old things and making them work and shooting with 35 millimeter again and that kind of stuff. By, by the way, that video, um, there's going to be a another video to that at some point. Uh, after the pictures come back in that I'm having developed and be able to show you what kind of pictures I got out of that camera. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Be prepared. See you on the next one. Also, don't forget about the May meetup. Be prepared.